Hey guys, welcome back uh, to the Richard Stew channel. Um, but today we are going to be talking about the Dark Scythe. Uh, yes, that is the red endgame tool for uh, if you're a red hive. Um, so let's take a look at the requirements on that really quickly. Alright guys, so it looks like you need 1,500 red extracts, 200 stingers, 100 hard wax, 50 caustic wax, and 50 super smoothies. And there's another requirement, guys, I'll show you here in a second. So you guys also need to do 250 rally bee quests in order to unlock the dark scythe. And I have 268 of those quests done. So, just keep that in mind. Let's talk about the red extracts first. So, 1,500 red extracts is a lot. That certainly is. Um, it took me about two and a half months to obtain the scythe. And the fastest and quickest method I found to getting the scythe via the red extract requirement was using the Jitbit macro. Some people use um, H or AHK, um, or auto hotkey, but I like to use Jitbit. It's simple, easy, download a file, um, program it how you'd like, and, um, and then you set it how you would like it to run. So that's a very easy way. I found, I got like 1,400 red, er, not red extracts, but strawberries during like an 8 to 12 hour period from doing this, and I found it to be the most helpful way. You, there's another thing you'll have to keep in mind though, which I'll explain when I get to the super smoothies. So the next requirement is the, uh, oh that was embarrassing. The next requirement you need is 200 stingers, yes, 200 stingers. Currently I have 51, because um, I just recently have bought the site. Uh, I'm using that for the 2 billion code. But you need 200 stingers. My advice for this would, uh, to either, there's two options, you could server hop for night time in which you may find vicious bees. Um, actually there's three options. Second option, you can use night bells if you have enough. And third option is just play the game through uh, daily, which um, you could also do buy stingers over here, which I do not recommend. Let me check the price on that real quick. All right, guys, ten tickets for a stinger. That is very, very, very expensive. Very expensive. With, the, with that being said, that's why I recommend. Um, either server hopping or just playing the game through. And the next requirement we're going to look at, uh, we're actually going to go to the uh, blender real quick, is hard wax. So hard wax, let's look at the requirements for that real quick. Three soft wax, three enzymes, 33 bitter berries, 33 uh, jellies for one hard wax. Keep in mind you'll need 100 of these. You, my best advice for this is to do puff shroom runs. That's a very good way, like a level 12 rare, I'd say, um, and up for rarity and level. Um, has a very good chance of dropping hard wax. You just do a couple puff shroom runs, you get like five per run. Um, maybe more if you get lucky. That's about my advice for the hard wax. But while we're in the blender, let's also look at the next requirement, which is the caustic wax. You need 50 of these. You need 5 hard wax per 1 caustic wax. Keep that in mind. 5 enzymes per 1 caustic. 25 neon berries and 5,252 oil jellies. That is a lot of materials. So. Like I said, keep in mind that you only need a hundred hard wax. You can get that from puff runs. That you, if you go the route of crafting uh, the caustic wax that like I did, I ended up crafting 32 caustic wax, which is a lot. So I needed a lot of hard wax in order to do that. So you might need to have more than hard wax just to be safe. More hard wax just to be safe. And our last um, requirement for the scythe 
is the super smoothies. So, in order to get super smoothies fast, there's a couple of methods I'm gonna go through here in a second. Um, as, a, as you may know or may not know, if you have the plastic planner right here, you can get one free super smoothie um, per certain amount of days. Let me look into that really quick. So that's actually every month you can get a free super smoothie from a plastic planner. So that's one way to get one. Um, most familiar way you can get them is from uh, the blender by blending them, which but probably familiar with the requirements, but I'm gonna come over here and show you guys real quick anyway. Okay, so three neon berries, three uh, star jellies, three purple potions, and six tropical drinks. So you're gonna need a lot of materials for a super smoothie as well. This was my hardest uh, thing to craft for the scythe. Be in order, just because I needed the star jellies. I did not uh, macro during this last bees mist, so I did not. I was not able to afford the 50 super smoothies from Bee Bear's catalog. But that is something I would recommend if you have done or can do in the future. That is 100% something I would do. Um, another thing you can get smoothies by is that it's a very rare chance from uh, the coconut crab can actually drop, smooth, drop smoothies as well as uh, any planters as well. Well guys, that's all for today's video. I hope you guys found it useful. Um, like and subscribe if you uh, want to. I'm not going to push that on anybody. Um, if you guys want the macro I use for strawberry field, I also have one for blueberry, um, let me know down in the comments. Uh, I'd be happy to get, supply the link in the next upload. I might do a 2 billion code boost. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. Probably be one of my best boosts I've ever done. Alright, well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.